Us, what is your gold medal podium topic? Uh, I think this is definitely might be the one of the most important stories for sure because it's just how much is riding on it is the uh, the final college football playoff rankings. Oh yeah. Like did you did you guys think Alabama was gonna jump Ohio State for the last spot or? Of course, of course. So? And uh, uh, I could talk about my reasoning for it, but uh, Russell, you can start us off. Um, uh, Why did you did you think uh, Alabama was gonna get in the rankings? The whole time. I had no doubt. And it wasn't because I think Alabama, you know, I think Alabama is one of the four best teams in the country, but they didn't deserve it. And so in your, in my gut, I knew they were going to beat it. But in my mind, I could look at the the teams that uh, Ohio State is, see the teams in the top 25 they've beaten. I can see the teams that Alabama hasn't beaten who are in the top 25. And it's just like, it's, it's obvious that Ohio State is the team that should and deserve to be in there. But if I'm thinking in my mind, in my gut, all right, who is the best with the five teams in the country? I know, oh, I, I mean, uh, Alabama's in that top four. <laughs> so it, it, it sucked because Ohio State deserved it. But if I got to put money on somebody to win it, I'm putting it on Alabama. <laughs> well, uh, there's, there's two sides to the... Because um, a lot of people are going to claim that it's because, like, Alabama is... Uh, a bigger program. In the end, it's like Alabama, Ohio State. I don't think any of those factors really come into it. Those are two blue bloods. But there's there's real football arguments to be made on both sides. Um, for instance, the college football playoffs, they've never selected a team that has been beaten by more than 14 points. Not in their entire history. Very short history, but they've never, beaten, they've never chosen anyone like that. And Alabama never got beat by more than like 14-ish. Ohio State lost by a lot to Iowa. How much was it? Like in the 30s? Yeah. And, yeah. and I really feel like that was the deciding factor. But I'm going to I'm gonna give an argument for all those Ohio State people and the Big Ten people who want to get in. And Russell touched on it. Alabama really had a weak schedule this year. And if you look at the non-conference people they played, it's it uh, you, there's one there's one mistake we understand. Florida State, you expect them to be good and then DeAndre Francois gets injured and then the team kind of falls off. We get that. But outside of that one not gutless pick, there's a lot of gutless Really lame. They did play. They played Mercer week eleven. I checked their schedule. Was, I never said they didn't. Well, I was saying they they uh, and so they 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 always play someone really weak, like deep into the, to the season. I don't really think other. Well, we talked about that. It's because there's certain there's certain weeks in the season where you have to play conference opponents. They play eight to nine conference opponents. So week eleven, week twelve are open. So it's just like. What are you gonna do? You and you always play a smaller school. You, they, they pay that, them, they that's what I'm saying. The SEC always plays a smaller school. The other conferences, the Pac-12, the when, Big Ten. When they, do they not pay small, play smaller school? Michigan not, plays, not, not week Michigan 11. Michigan plays Appalachian State and in all weeks, those kind of teams. In weeks one to four. They played the number yeah, one team in the country at the beginning. Weeks one to four, you played that those F F. CS Alabama team. plays top five teams at the beginning, here's, and then but, they go into their conference schedule. But see, here's a here here's what's this is a this is something I don't really here. see what the placement of the game in the season has anything to do with about it. Everybody because plays a smaller you, school. You play a smaller school in the beginning of the season as a tune-up game for your team to get better. But late in the season, it's truly unfair. Your team is already really How is it like unfair? It, it, if okay, Appalachian State would have not happened if Michigan was in week eleven, but it was in. It How was do you in, know that? Because Michigan was out of. They were. They were not really in the flow of the season. They were There's not, been upsets at the end of seasons and beginning of seasons. I don't think the placement of the game has anything to do with it. That's the that's the inherent risk. Auburn that, wasn't a better team than Alabama. They've had a better game plan and beat them. There's at least an inherent risk when a Michigan plays in Appalachian State week one by saying, hey, this is our first game. We don't even know if we're, we have shaken Michigan the rust should off. Michigan never, should never lose to Appalachian State. But well, no, what I'm saying is like Alabama – Putting Appalachian State week eleven is much more unfair because I can't call they're it already unfair. they're already tuned up. Like okay, well let Russell. The chances you're gonna lose a game to Appalachian State is a lot less if it's later in the season, close to that first week. If you're a top five football first team, I don't see you losing to that team at all. Why, why? There shouldn't be a chance you lose to them at all. So I don't really think the placement is there. 
And it's been proven year after year after year that the conference schedule of the SEC is way tougher than any conference. And we can look at that on paper, statistics, everything. Well, but if you look at the because paper the Big statistics Ten, I of put, Ohio State versus Alabama I this year, Ohio State has a better Ohio standard. State lost to 7-5, and five, Iowa. Yeah, but Alabama yeah, lost to a, a Alabama the lost to a, the team they're that beat Alabama they're should they're be in the playoff. They're, 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 you know, they, and, and be kicking yourself that you lost. You let Iowa score fifty-one points on you. Right, and that's a reason you should. That's terrible. But at the same time, you have. You and have you said to yourself the fourteen-point thing. Oh no, I'm not arguing for Ohio State. I'm I don't think Ohio State has a, a tougher schedule than Alabama at all. Because the way the rankings end up at the end of the season, that's a lot different than tough, like the strength of schedule. If a certain couple teams end up in the rankings, and you also have to understand, there's three SEC teams that very well could be in the final, in the last four. Auburn could probably beat Ohio State. Georgia could probably beat Ohio State. And then I don't think Alabama could beat Georgia head-to-head. So it's just like I, I don't really understand this whole argument, the strength of schedule. Ohio State's strength of schedule isn't that great. Because the one team that was really good, and I don't even think Wisconsin was really good. They just happened to have a good season. I think Ohio State was a better team than them the whole season. They happened to beat them in the conference championship game, which is great. But it's just like, yeah. that's really the one team. Who else can you look at that has contention to be in the last four that Ohio State just dominated or played or went up against very well? You can make a case for them to be in there. There's nobody. Besides but, Wisconsin, but Alabama avoided a lot of those teams. They How played, did they avoid them? They play. They didn't really. They played Mississippi State. They have Miss- to play Mississippi State. They're in their well, division. Well, no, but I'm saying they didn't. They didn't go against Mississippi State's eight and four. They went against Auburn and LSU. They really kind of. Those are all of their SEC West. But I know what I'm saying, but they didn't have to go against like some of the SEC East that would have been harder. We well, like don't play Georgia. every SEC East team. Every well, no, year. I know. I'm not saying it's their fault. And I'm they're saying, probably gonna play Georgia in the national championship. I well, no. What I'm saying is they they did avoid Georgia in the regular season. I wouldn't say they avoided them because they beat them last year. Oh, no, I'm not saying it's like, oh, it was they chose. I'm yeah. just saying because of the schedule. But it's just like, who can you name Ohio State beat that's really like, oh, my God, they showed Ohio State was this amazing team. They should have lost to Wisconsin. Well, it's, it's hard because I'm not arguing for Ohio State. I just feel like they're – like the SEC gets built up a little bit. I feel like the USC had a very comparable uh, argument to the Ohio State, and they're not mentioned at all. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, because their the strength is their schedule conference wise, come on. Really? See this is the this is the SEC bias. They keep that. <laughs> so the Pac twelve holds a jock to the SEC? I, let's get out of here, man. I know you went to Utah. But let's not no, no let's not do this homework <laughs> stuff on the show. No. No, I, I really come on. I really feel You that. have three teams that could very well be in the in the four. In Auburn, Georgia, and Alabama. And, and they had close calls and got beat by a couple teams back in the conference that are going to play in small bowl games. You can't say that about other conferences besides the Big 12. And that's why Oklahoma is number one, because they were head and shoulders better than an actual conference that scored a lot of points and played good football. The Big 10, it doesn't measure up to the SEC or Big 12 or the ACC. And it shows statistically and in the rankings. I don't even think, like, honestly, like, I thought, and here's my thing. I think Ohio State should have got the fourth spot solely for being conference champion. I think that's a big deal. But I think the reason they got the spot over Alabama, because they want to eventually push a final of uh, 18 playoff thing because it showed Because mm-hmm. if you make enough people mad, you're going to be like, oh, we need to change the system. So now you have a lot of people angry that are making the arguments that you're making that, oh, just because Alabama plays in the SEC doesn't mean they should get pressing this. All right, let's do an 18 playoff, beat Alabama in the first round. So now we're going to see, I think, Starting either next year or the year after, we'll see those teams. And so a team like UCF that went undefeated will get a shot Mm -hmm. at Clemson and all these kind of things right now. But if you're only going to do four teams, I want to see the best four. Screw Ohio State and their quarterback that has one leg. Yeah, well, no, I, I really... I, which is not his fault. Which is not his fault. I don't think he should be playing. I think that's something we didn't talk about, but that's, that's an absolute shame. Ohio State made this dude have surgery. That's terrible, and then bro. Four days later, made him go out there and play. I think yeah. that's awful. And another reason the NCAA is is full of crap. Right? How much JT Barrett get you? You make this dude come off the, the doctor's table and get onto the field in, in three days and prepare for a conference championship. That's asinine. Just heard his NFL right. draft stuff. That's, and, and that's why I won't count Wisconsin as a good team. Y'all got beat by a quarterback on one leg in a conference championship game. You didn't deserve to be in the uh, last four. So. Big Ten, get out of here.
Well, you got a one-legged quarterback winning the conference. Yeah, that's a that's a great conference, man. That's a great conference. Hey, man, I'm a Big Ten guy, and the only reason I think you know, and I agree with you, Niles, on a lot of those points. Um, the only reason I think eight teams is better uh, than the four is because if you look at the teams that are in there right now, you exclude a good. 75% of yeah. the country in this year's I agree. college football playoff. I agree. And, and which, you know, for real college football fans, they're going to watch regardless, but a lot of the nation is not going to watch. Because no, I agree. Most regions aren't included. You know, you have, yeah. oh, you have Georgia, you have Alabama, and you and have Clemson. Clemson. It's all and Southern South stuff. Southeast. It's all South, yeah. South no, I, and I, so I think Ohio State teams. deserves a chance. I think they deserve a chance, just not like you see, if there's only they four have teams. Dog stats, and then right. one team from the uh, the top, uh, the Power Five. That's what yeah. I think. That's what I think. You should do the five conference championships and three at large bids. I don't. I that's what I. I feel like Ohio State should have a chance, but not if you're only going to do the best four teams because they're not one of the best four teams. They're one of the best eight teams. I just. I Agreed. think. I, I think it is interesting that the the playing uh, sometimes you can schedule different non conference games and adjust the playing field on that. But, adjust the playing field. But anyways, you know that here's was, the thing. That's probably gonna win the national championship from the four seed. So get ready to be pissed off, America. It's gonna be like when Trump won. I'm telling you, Alabama is Trump in the situation. They're the four seed, and they're gonna come. In what do you mean Alabama is Trump in the situation? Alabama is Trump. <laughs> what are you talking about? In this one particular situation, and then ninety nine percent. I can't time. say Alabama, I can't say Alabama was Trump because they're ranked like number one every year. Trump kind of like snuck into the into it and beat everybody. That, and I feel like that's what they're doing in this playoff. They're sneaking but I in. Think he's the, they're the team nobody wants to win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Who's Who's Hillary in the in the fourteen playoff? Um, they aren't playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say I say Cle- I say Clemson is Hillary. I would say Clemson is Hillary yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, Out of the four, Clemson's probably Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Clemson just got the death knell of all death knells being labeled Hillary it's Clinton. Gonna, you it's gonna be a bad night. You will never win any shout out to uh, ever Number again. Uh, we, the preacher coach Dabo Sweeney we feel for you uh, but anyways that was probably the most heated discussion we've ever had on the podium I love it love it 